Good morning guys, I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today is either gonna make this thing right here look cheap and nasty or it's actually gonna be kinda half sick. I finally got my package for my fiber optic lights. It comes with, I think around about 300 light strips plus the whole controller and just, oh, everything. It looks sick. I've seen on YouTube these guys doing these Rolls Royce Starlight roofs, which is actually an $18,000 option from Rolls Royce and I believe they come in the Ghost and the Wraith and stuff like that. I've seen people like Divine Media and just a whole bunch of people do them to their cars. And I've only ever seen one car in Australia with it on. Um, I know there's gonna be obviously a lot more, but I've, I've only ever seen it in person once. I've never seen it done to a Falcon. So today I've got a few little things that I'm gonna be doing and uh, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, as long as poking holes for all those doesn't take too long, we should have a completed Falcon this afternoon. So uh, yeah, but first of all, before we do that, a little bit of a grass update. Me and my neighbor got bored one day and we tore it all up. <laughs> it is all gone. Yeah, so we tore the, the whole lot up. The whole lot is gone. We put brand new grass seed down. It just, it looked absolutely terrible. And then what we've done once we've sort of like dug up all this, moved it to the side here, and now pretty much another job for me today is to flatten all this down, put some more grass seed over it, and then uh, fix all that up. Because it's had a few days to sort of like kill off that grass that was originally in there. Um, so yeah. Should actually come out really nice. And as for the backyard, check this out. It looks so good. I mowed it just a few days ago and it actually has come up so nice. Obviously you can see where the new grass is and where the old grass is, but um, the new grass is so insanely luscious. The only thing I haven't done is just down the very edge down here, which I have a whole lot more grass here to go in. Um, underneath, the thing is a little bit patchy, but it looks so good. Anyway guys, so this is everything that the kit comes with. Obviously it comes with the sort of like the actual light box sort of thing. And if I quickly open it right now, this is gonna be sitting up the very back on the parcel shelf on the FG. It's got two holes in it where it obviously has light shine through it. And then it also has a rotating sort of disc in there that allows light to bleed through. Now this is what's going to create like the twinkle effect on the lights. I have seen some people that don't have that twinkle effect and it kind of just like, it can only breathe and it can only like change color and fade and stuff like that. Um, however, the whole idea of doing like a starlight roof is the fact that you can, you can have alternating lights twinkle and do stuff. So that is why I ended up getting with the more sort of expensive option. Um, comes with these right here, which I believe they just hold the lights in place. That may even just be a spare one. I'm not quite sure. Um, also comes with the remote, which I believe it also, uh, you can also get an app for it, which I probably will end up doing because it's a little bit easier. Um, it also comes with the pins. Um, so these right here, sort of, you get a drill and then you can drill through the headliner, um, which helps it. I mean, depending on the thickness of these right here, um, you can drill through the headliner and uh, obviously poke them through. I've also got a whole heap of hot glue. So everything comes with, apart from these right here, which I believe is three meters. There you go. Three meters, uh, 135 pieces per strip. And then it's also 0 0.75 thick. So uh, yeah. That is so cool. So this is gonna be three meters of fiber optic light, more than enough to go from one side of the roof all the way down into like the back left corner there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out where exactly I can mount this. I'm hoping I can just put it up against the, uh, the pillar right there and have these two lights shining up. And uh, I think that's gonna be the easiest way to go about it. So anyway, let's get straight in. So I should be able to just mount the little box that sort of sits right there flat against that because this sort of, it, it will more than, yeah, I'll quickly show you guys anyway. I believe it'll have more than enough clearance for the whole lot. If I quickly just push that all down. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. And then because the plastic pieces on the side uh, allow enough clearance for uh, like a, at least a box of that size, um, it shouldn't have an issue running some uh, lights all the way up through here and then into the headliner. So uh, yeah, that'd be perfect. All right. Cool. Now let's go over and I'll show you guys the headline. So a few days ago, I saw this thing come up on Facebook Marketplace and it looks so good. This is a completely redone black headliner. Don't know whether it came out of an FTX or not, but I know that it has actually been redone. Like it's been, like it's been, uh, it's been reupholstered, which is sick. So yeah, this black headliner is going to be the perfect canvas for the Starlight roof. One thing I did realize though is the fact that it actually comes with drill bits. Um, I attempted to just do a little bit of a, a drill bit piece. Um, in a part where you can't see, and it actually tears up the uh, the thing. So what I did then, Sarah has some safety pins upstairs. You can literally poke them through, wiggle them around a little bit, 
and it creates a big enough hole for it to perfectly slide through. I think I did one down here, and you cannot see where the hole was poked through. So, um, yeah, hopefully without destroying this, um, yeah, we should be sweet. So I've already peeled off all the factory sound deadening, so it just reveals this right here. So you can see where obviously bits you can't get through, which sucks. Obviously I don't want to put any under here, because that's where the visors are. Um, so pretty much from here back. Also, I don't want to sort of go down the sides here as well. I'm going to try to like cut it off here or just sort of like fade it out in a way. I don't want to go too far back than here, which is where those push pins are. So you can pretty easily see exactly where everything's supposed to sit. Also, as annoying as it is, I can't actually peel this thing up right here, which is so annoying because I wanted to do some down the very front bit there and also some around the corners here, but I'm just going to have to do my best up the front there. And hopefully I don't notice anything. So I'm just going to quickly line this all up, mark out where I want all my holes to be. Um, I have a 135 per strip, which means that I'm going to do 135 down this side, 135 down that side. It's going to be a long day, but <laughs> we'll get it done. So I have all the holes masked out. Um, so I'm just going to basically get a safety pin and go through every single one and then feed a little fiber through each every single one of these So one of them will go into each and every single hole here. So, um, yeah, I have roughly got it So, uh, one of those light strips has 135 elements in it So I've roughly got 135 across one side I divided it up into quarters and then basically did like a 67, 67 sort of thing. And I've also tried to make it so that it's more clustered up in the center and then sort of fades out. But I think this is gonna look super sick. Once I do basically a whole quarter, I'm then gonna go over and hot glue the whole lot. And then while that sets, I'll do the next quarter. So I think that's gonna be the easiest way. I'm gonna start poking some holes. Let's get into it. Rightio, so I'm about 50 strands in currently. It looks like on the other side. And pretty much what you do, it's gonna like push them back through like that, put some hot glue on them, and then I'm just gonna cut them with a pair of like nail clippers or a razor blade or something. And that'll just sit flush with the roof. And then those fiber optics will just shine through. It looks super cool, but I have a lot more to go and I've been at it for probably about an hour now. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep grinding away. Rightio, so I've now done half of the roof and this is what it looks like. It looks like an absolutely horrid tangled mess, but this is going to be absolutely perfect. So now what I need to do is I have a hot glue gun. I am going to go, where about this one right here. And I have got heaps and heaps and heaps of hot glue. So what I'm gonna do is go over each and every single one of them and hot glue every single one of them down. And then I'm gonna let it dry whilst I poke holes for the next half. So uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Get straight in. Right, yeah, so I had a little bit of an issue. Unfortunately, the hot glue, um, before I realized, was actually melting some of the fiber. So you guys can see like the fiber optic light there goes in and then does like a 90 degree bend down there. Um, it's gonna be okay, because it actually still has a little end and technically it's all still connected. So it'll actually just light up here and then go straight through as well, which you won't see, which I'm super pleased about. Um, but then I realized that and I just quickly like went ch -ch 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 over everything. So yeah, um, it'll still emit light down the bottom. It's just uh, I didn't really want to bend them out of the way in case I just uh, hurt the light that was coming from them. But uh, yeah, anyway, that whole side's done. Now to start poking out this side here. So you can kind of get a glimpse of what this is going to look like um, literally just by putting up your phone light to the end of this, which is the end of the fiber optics. So literally phone light on. So you can kind of see in there all the little tiny like uh, different fibers. Grab your phone light, move it up towards Move it up towards the end of that, and look at that. <laughs> it's good to know they're all working, <laughs> which is a massive bonus. Five hours in, one quarter to go. We're getting there, boys. All finished. I honestly think there's about 300 pieces. It's nuts. I'm not counting them to clarify, because I've been at it for probably six hours. Oh my god. It's all here, it's all ready to go. Now I'm gonna do hot glue this section here, and uh, then we should be sweet to chuck it all back in the car. I'm also gonna try and find a way 
to stick these all down um, so that I don't get caught in anything when we try and put it back up in the roof. But um, yeah, oh man, so cool. We'll get it sorted, guys. We got this. Ready, right, so the roof liner is about to go back in the car. I'm just about to go up and grab Sarah and then we can chuck it straight back in. Um, yeah, I'm super keen to see how this looks. Then all I have to do is wire up a 12 volt source and uh, get that little motor down there working. Man, it's gonna be so cool. All right, let's go get Sarah, let's chuck it in. So I have just installed the roof lining. I don't know why, but the, uh, the time lapse cut out, and I've just ghetto rigged the whole thing up to turn with accessories. So now I've actually already had a little bit of a play with it. But anyway, bro, what? This is nuts. So um, yeah, you guys can see it's all dangling down at the moment. But I had a chance to cut a few off. This is starting to look so rad. Oh my god, it's so good. I just gotta chop off a little bit more, probably another half. And we should be good to go. This is so cool. Alrighty guys, I have completely finished pulling off all the little extra bits of plastic for the fiber optics and have a look what they look like now. Oh my god. That looks so insane. I did try and cluster them up a little bit more in the middle, but it kind of just looks like it's a little bit all over the shop, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it looks so good. So at the moment I have it on like the bluey green setting. Changing it to white is honestly just so classy. It looks so good. I am so keen to uh, have a drive at this at night. So yeah, it has a few different modes. Um, so it has like the jump, which just goes between red, green, blue, I believe. Um, you also have the fade, which is, you know, just casual. Oops, sorry, not that one. This is a fade. So it goes between a whole different bunch of colors. You can see it's got the green and then goes down to a blue and then a purple. But in all fairness, I'm probably just gonna leave it on like the turquoisey, bluey color. And then the really deep purple, which I think is this one right here. And then also the white. All twinkling, of course. God damn, they look so good. <laughs> and then when they're off, literally just looks like a black headliner. It's got like little tiny white bits in it, but you would never notice it. It looks so good. Oh man. Alright hey guys, so it's a couple of days later and I've actually filmed a video completely in between this, but if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video, I want to give you all a massive thank you and uh, chuck something in the comments, I leave a little smiley face, so uh, just to troll the people that haven't made it this far, <laughs> that'd be sick. Anyway, I thought because it's probably going to be a fair amount of new people that are coming onto this channel, um, especially just looking at the final product now, um, it was kind of like all half finished, it looks a whole lot better now. I'm gonna quickly turn the car over into accessories and show you guys exactly what it looks like. But uh, if you guys do like this, please leave a like. I'm gonna leave a link to all the stuff I use down in the description. All up, this project was probably around about uh, maybe $300. And all up, including the whole interior stuff that I've done with the sound deadening and everything, it was probably about just under a grand for everything. Sound deadening, the lights, uh, all the wiring that I've done, uh, the sub, everything. Just under a thousand bucks. So uh, yeah. And the best news is, we got only just a few days until this thing gets a new transmission. I am so keen to drive it again. Alrighty guys, here is the finished product.